Good morning. So today I asked Clark with Iron Mortgage to join me. We've had a lot of questions recently with regards to bridge loans. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do a little question and answer and get some clarification. Um, as Clark always says, nothing clarifies like clarity. So with that said, I guess the first question is um, just in general, what is a bridge loan? Sure. Thanks, Craig. So the biggest thing that we want to be able to do for you today is just take it and best way I could describe it is make it very linear in our explanation. We want to make sure that from start to finish that if you maybe know a little bit about bridge loans, you'll know at the end a, a lot more. And if you, you know, it's, you don't know anything, you at least have some information that you can share with other people to help benefit them. So what is a bridge loan? A bridge loan is a type of product that allows you to be able to access the equity that you have, and we're going to call it your departing residence. So that means you're, it's for a situation where, Greg, you have a home that you live in, mm -hmm. that's going to be your departing residence. We're moving out of that. So we're going to refer to that a lot. And okay. then we're going to talk about your new home. Okay, so those will be the two homes we're going to be talking about. So this allows you to be able to access the equity in your departing residence so that you can put it down on your new home prior to selling the departing residence. That's the key. Yep, that makes sense. And um, what would be the big benefit of that? Okay. So right now, let's, let's consider a situation. So home values are going up significantly. Mm -hmm. People are listing their homes, they're selling very quickly. The challenge is it makes me very nervous to list my home because it's gonna sell so fast, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find a place in the amount of time that I need. Mm -hmm. So as a result, I'm just choosing not to do anything. I'm just gonna wait, let the market cool down a little mm -hmm. bit. I'm gonna allow more inventory to come on the market. But the challenge is, is that I'm trying to sell my home and I wanna buy yours, but you're in the same boat because you don't have anywhere to go, right? right? And so I would love to buy your home and you'd love to sell it to me, mm -hmm. but you won't. Because I have nowhere to go. Nowhere to go, right? Yep. So, and what it does is creates this log jam and, it, and this backup where, so therefore we're seeing a, a inventory, uh, and you mentioned just the other day, uh, you know, significantly lower than we have in previous years, right? Yep. About 1.5 months of inventory right now. Which, which is, is really very, low, very low. Very yep. low. And so, but as always, there are families and individuals that want to be able to sell their homes. Mm -hmm. So the bridge loan really addresses that concern. Okay, that makes sense. And, and then what would be step one as far as getting started in the process? Sure. So the first step is you need to get pre-approved with Iron Mortgage uh, to buy your new home, right? So it doesn't make any sense for us to have any discussion about a bridge loan if we can't even get approved to buy the new one. In the, in the new end mortgage, if you will, that's just a traditional conventional mortgage, just yeah. like any other mortgage. Absolutely, it's a great question and one we get a lot. So it has no impact, the bridge loan has no negative impact mm -hmm. on your ability to be able to buy your new one or the mortgage itself. The fees aren't higher, the interest rate is not higher. We treat the mortgage on the new home mm -hmm. exactly as we would if you didn't even have a bridge loan. So it's not even considered. Now it's like a, if I didn't even have a home right now, it's just I'm getting a new mortgage. Yes, yes. The, what happens is the only change is the down payment monies, as opposed to coming from your savings account or retirement or a gift, mm -hmm. all the different, the different buckets that we can draw from, it allows us to be able to access that equity we have tied up, we can't get to, right. to put down and leverage toward the new one. That makes sense. And then how does that money um, actually get, how does the equity come out of my house and, and actually get applied to the new mortgage at closing? So the logistics of it work like this. You're going, we're going to, first of all, we need to get, so we, the first step, get approved. Second step is to say, okay, we need to evaluate your home. My okay? current home. Your current, your departing residence. Mm -hmm. So if, first of all, it has to be equity in it, of course, right? That's, right. The, that's the key. Secondly, the type of home matters. So if you have a single family home, no problem. Mm -hmm. If you have a town home, where you own the land underneath it, mm -hmm. no problem. There are some properties that aren't going to work out though. If you have a single family home that's unique in the fact of its location, if there are power lines running right through the middle of your backyard, most likely not going to get approved because the reason why any home is not uh, eligible is because of its saleability. Okay. So if it's going to negatively impact, if the location of your home backs up to a commercial building possibly, mm -hmm. right? Different things where there are fewer comparables and it's gonna negatively impact your ability to sell at fair market price, mm -hmm. 
a lot of times those properties are not eligible. Okay. How does the process work then of getting my current home approved? So that's the second step. <clears throat> okay. So first step, get you pre-approved, make sure we can qualify. Second step is we need to, and we submit the address to the bridge loan company and say, hey, here it is, take a look at this, is this one eligible? They respond very quickly, yes. And we also have to give them some information. We have to tell them um, what we estimate that we're gonna list the home for. And we'll get some more and some details mm -hmm. about listing the home. What is your current mortgage balance? Okay. What is your current mortgage payment? So they'll take all those numbers and then they'll look at your property and then say, okay, based on that, you have this much money available to you to put down on the new residence. During that process, are they gonna do an appraisal on my departing home, my current home? No. So what they're going to do is they're gonna do their information, their research online, and then they're also going to rely on your agent to determine a fair market <clears throat> value. Say, let's just use $300,000 for example, okay? okay? I'm going to list my home for $300,000. And so that's what market value is based on, I talked to my agent, mm -hmm. they said, yes, that's what the market value is. They'll take that 300 and they'll say, okay, is that fair based on your research? They say, yes, we agree upon that number. Mm -hmm. And that's what everything is determined. The equity, the cost, everything are determined based on that number right there. That makes sense. That makes sense. So it's actually a pretty simple process. It is. I mean, you'll get like the turnarounds, what, a day or two? Did not even. An answer? Yeah, not even. So I uh, send the information over to the bridge loan representative mm -hmm. and, you know, we certainly can't promise this every time, but as of right now, she's responded within three hours. That's quick. Yeah. Really quick. So, so now I'm approved to, for a mortgage to buy my new home. Yes. And now my home is approved for the bridge loan. So then the next step is obviously to go out, start looking at some houses and and put in an offer and I can do that without any contingency on my departing home. So That's when I'm making the offer, there's no disadvantage to the sellers for accepting my offer right. based on my departing home. For sure. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the huge, huge benefits. Mm -hmm. So we're able to access the equity of our departing home to leverage on the new one. And when you get your pre-approval letter, it doesn't mm -hmm. say pre-approved based contingent on the sale of and insert your current address, right? Okay. So that is a huge thing in today's market. Mm -hmm. and, and to be clear, nothing clarifies the clarity. <laughs> I don't need to have my current home, my departing home listed. No. I don't have to have an offer on that. No. I can go out, shop, buy a home, close on that home, and then go back and list my property. Is that correct? Yes. So actually, uh, the only adjustment I would say to that is you will have an offer on your home, mm -hmm. and that's from the bridge loan company. Okay. So they, that's what allows us and one of the things that's the benefits we'll get to, but you will have a non-contingent purchase offer on your home, your departing residence, mm -hmm. from the bridge loan company. Now, okay. it's going to clearly be lower than market value because to their advantage, right? And so in the event, so here, let's talk about the, the timeline. Okay. So you said, I don't have to have my home listed. That is correct. So what happens is you go out, shop for your home, just like you normally would. Mm -hmm. You buy it, get under contract, you close. At okay. that point, you have 45 days per the contract mm -hmm. to get your home ready to list. You can move out, you can declutter, you can clean up after the kids, after the dogs, whatever it is, and get your home show ready. You have 45 days to do that. From the day I close on my new home? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. So then so you have that 45 day window to get mm -hmm. everything all done. And another huge benefit is the fact that in that timeline, once you start, once you get it listed, mm -hmm. is you don't have to worry about packing up the dog, you know, putting the dogs in the crates and packing up the kids for all the showings that you're going to get in today's market because you're already out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so, but if I have repairs or I need to paint or clean, so I kind of want to start doing that while I'm looking just so that I can, you know, meet that 45 day mm -hmm. listing period. You can. So, which kind of leads us to another part of the discussion is the fact that so yes, you, the timeline of you doing pre preparing your house, nobody's gonna tell you can or cannot do it, right? right? But you have that window of time after you close on your new place to be able to get everything ready. One of the benefits of the bridge loan is not only does it allow you to access the equity in order to put it down on your new place, mm -hmm. but it also allows you to have up to $35,000 in repair funds to apply toward the departing residence. Say you need to put on a new roof, or new flooring or whatever it is. Now, of course, it's coming from the equity of that home. Okay. See, normally let's say you would want to, I would love to be able to get my house ready, but 
you know, I have two dogs, so I, I'll mm -hmm. tell you real life story. They're destroyed. My, you know, they've destroyed my wood floors. Let's say yeah. hypothetically, I want to get them refinished, but I can't refinish my floors. I have a three year old, mm -hmm. or you know, whatever. Where am I going to go during the time that I'm doing that? Yeah. This allows you to access up to thirty five thousand dollars in equity of your home to be able to do that after you've moved out. Got it. So. How does that look then? So if somebody comes out, refinishes your hardwood floors, how does that contractor then get paid if the money's in the house? So the money is being escrowed and held by the bridge loan company. So all those terms and everything mm -hmm. that you're doing are already spelled out, laid out in the contract, mm -hmm. and we're saying $10,000, I don't know. Yep. We're, we're at $10,000 because they're gonna redo the flooring. They're gonna invoice and they're gonna show complete and then they get paid. Got it, got it. I can see where that'd be a huge advantage. Huge win. Huge win mm -hmm. on that. So, um, so how does it look as far as the the fees with the bridge loan? Because I know you said the fees on the end loan on the new home are going to be the same. Correct. Are there any fees or anything that I need to know about for sure. the bridge itself? Absolutely. So the there is a flat fee of seventeen hundred and fifty dollars, one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars for the bridge loan closing cost. All right. Okay. That's just the processing and doing all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Mind you, just want to make a note: Iron Mortgage charges zero dollars for the bridge loan. Okay. With the bridge loan as well, zero interest, no interest, mm -hmm. no payments the entire time. Okay. On the bridge loan. On the bridge loan itself. Okay. Okay. So the closing, the fees for that, so there's $1,750 in closing fees and mm -hmm. then the actual fee to access the equity is 2% of the agreed sales price. So getting back to our example before I said $3,000 or um, $300,000 is the yep. agreed price. Okay. So that in that situation, it would be $6,000 fee. However, okay. in today's market, we know if I list my house, $300,000, let's say in Livonia, mm -hmm. in your opinion, what is that house actually selling for? Probably 325. Easy, yeah. right? So with an appraisal guarantee mm -hmm. and all yeah. the things, right? Yeah. So that doesn't matter. Okay. And I confirm this. So the agreed sales price is the agreed sales price. So it's the list price is 300, so I'm gonna pay 2% based on of that. that. Regardless of what you sell it for. So I could sell it for 290 or 330, it's still on the 300. 300. Okay, and, and just to be clear, I'm, there's no monthly payments on the bridge. Correct. But obviously I still have a mortgage on my existing home, yes. so I'm gonna to continue to make that payment um, as well until I obviously close on that property. Right, so let's talk about two things that is one of the best things about the bridge loan and the fact that what's difficult about a bridge loan bridge loans aren't new bridge loans have been around for a long time mm -hmm. right during tough times when people's values are going down there really isn't a need for them because they don't have equity to tap into right okay but now that home, home values are going up significantly mm -hmm. there is the equity to available to us so what it does is the challenge is though, how do I qualify with my departing residence payment? Okay, great, I don't have a bridge loan payment, but I'm gonna have to have qualified with that one mm -hmm. and I have to be able to buy a new home, right? right. I can't do that and it scares me to death. Yep. I don't wanna have two mortgage payments, even for one month. So the beauty of the bridge loan is the fact that as a lender, we can exclude the payment on your departing residence. We don't even have to count it against you in your ratios. Okay. Huge win. Huge win. So I'm qualifying for my new mortgage as if I don't currently have a mortgage. As if it's gone. Okay. And submitted an offer with no contingency, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So that's the beauty of it. You can right now, as it is without a bridge loan, you can sell your home first and then buy a new one, but you have to time all of that perfectly. You and have to list your home, yeah. get it under contract, trust that the buyer is going to qualify, even though they've got a pre-approval letter, maybe things fall apart, right? right. And we have to rely on that lender who is buying your house to be able to get everything done in the timeline that, that you're buying your new one. And right? you have to find a house exactly. in, in exactly. that time window, which is uh, probably the most tricky yes. piece of the puzzle. Yes. So what this does is, so the logistics of it works like this. Just like you're able to put access your equity to put it down, mm -hmm. you're able to access your equity to leverage with repairs. What they do is they will, what's called escrow, mm -hmm. six months worth of mortgage payments. So hypothetically, making something up, let's say your payment is $1,000 a month for everything. This is on my new home. On your departing residence. On my departing home? Yes. Okay. So they're gonna take, uh, your payment's $1,000 a month, mm -hmm. they're gonna take an escrow $6,000 worth of payments, six months worth. Okay. Okay? Then when your payment comes due, they're not making them for you, you still mm -hmm. gotta make them. 
okay? okay. So uh, your payment's due on the first. Five days before that, they're going to deposit into your account your mortgage payment, and then you make it. Well, that's nice of them. Yep. Yeah. And then the next month, if you still have your home that long, right? right. We know it's probably yeah. not going to be the case, but in the event that it does, the next month, five days before your mortgage payment is due, they're going to deposit that into your account and you're going to make the mortgage payment again. Okay. Where does that money come from? It's coming from the equity that we've accessed in the bridge loan. From the bridge. Part of all that money. Okay. And, and how much um, equity can I take out of my current home for the new one? So you can act, it's, it's a rough estimate, but it's usually between 60 and 65% of the equity you have available to you. Okay. Okay. And the maximum you can put down on the new mortgage, on the new home, is mm -hmm. 30% down. So whatever okay. that number is. So if I have $100,000 equity in my home, I can use 60 to 65,000 of that for the new house. Correct. So what if I have money in the bank and I wanna put more than 30% down on the new house? No problem. The limitation <laughs> of the bridge loan is just that 30% down payment. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's use your example and kind of work backwards here so that okay. we make sure nothing clarifies like clarity. Right. So you have $100,000 in equity in your home. Let's just say on the conservative side, you can access 60,000 of it, okay? okay? We're not doing any repairs, but they need, to, they need to escrow my payment. So that's gonna come off the top. Mm -hmm. Their cost is gonna come off the top. Okay. And then whatever you have left over, you can leverage toward the new home. Got if it. you decide that you wanna supplement it with additional funds that you have in gift, down payment. Remember, the new mortgage mm -hmm. is not limited by the bridge at all. It's just a, a vehicle to help us. To, That's to get, all. To be able to use that as my down payment. Correct. Correct. Got it. Got it. So are there any disadvantages to, to a bridge loan? The only disadvantage and really, and it's not for everyone, right? Just like everything else. It's mm -hmm. just one extra step, one other extra opportunity to help us be able to, you know, hopefully address a problem and mm -hmm. encourage people to list more homes. But the, the only downside would really be the cost. Okay. Uh, in the, the agreed purchase price, or excuse me, the and list price, 2% uh, of that. And that 2%, are they just collecting that out of the equity in my home, or do I have to actually come up with that money? No, so that's not money you have to pay. That's a great question. Okay. Uh, so it's not money you have to pay. So once again, using your example, that 100000 you mm -hmm. know, equity, 60000 available to us, they're going to yep. take all the fees off the top of that, they're going to take the six months' worth of payments, yep. and that whatever's left in the bucket, you can leverage toward the new place. Okay. So then... In the scenario, you know, I'm going to list my house for three hundred thousand, so they're just going to take six thousand mm -hmm. out of the equity in my home. Mm -hmm. Okay, right off the and, top, regardless of what you sell it for. Like we said, you're probably going right. to sell it for you know three twenty, three twenty five anyway. Which would more than cover that easily. And and that two percent and no it has has absolutely nothing to do with the real estate commission. Nothing. Correct. Completely that, independent. Two completely separate. Yes. Things. Doesn't okay. go to the agent. It goes directly to the bridge loan company. Mm -hmm. The agreement that you have in listing your home with the agents is completely independent of this. Okay. Sounds like a pretty good program to me. I think it's great. Yep. I'm excited. Yep. I, um, I think that pretty much covers my questions. Yeah. Is there anything else that I'm missing or not asking that you can think of that, uh, that I didn't address? We did have some notes because make sure that we didn't forget anything, but I think we've actually... Um, covered, covered everything basis. yeah the only thing the logistics of it in the end is the fact of how it would work it would be a um, so the bridge loan needs to close four days prior to actually buying your new place okay okay so the title company has the funds there they're mm -hmm. just sitting there waiting for them then on the day of closing they're just gonna move that over and put it as a credit toward you okay right. and so um, the logistics of timing has to be four days beforehand so I would actually go to the title company four days prior to closing on my new home, sign the bridge loan paperwork, and then that frees up the equity in my home so that they can give it to the title company the day of closing? Correct. Yeah, it has to be, that one has to essentially have a closing, and then that's available for you moving forward, yes. Okay. Okay. And what it does is it actually puts a, you know, a second lien on the home. In the title word, it puts a lien on your home, mm -hmm. and then when you sell your place, it gets paid off just like your first mortgage does. Right. Right. Makes sense. Makes sense. Well, I, uh, I certainly appreciate your time. I certainly uh, appreciate you clarifying some of the questions yeah. that you know, we've been uh, addressing here with Bridge Loans. And um, I guess, as always, if anybody has any questions for Clark or myself, we're um, always more than happy to help. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you.